So here's a nodule on the uh, arm of a patient, and it was clinically thought to represent either a cyst or lipoma or some other sort of uh, skin tumor. Uh, and what you can see actually is it's this large uh, nodular aggregate of cells with uh, dead material in the middle, this dead pink stuff. And looking closer, these cells are histiocytes. And in particular, not just regular histiocytes, but actually multinucleated giant cells. And the reason the multinucleated giant cells are there is because there's foreign material. Each of them, you can see they're ingesting little fragments of pink stuff. So that's dead keratin material. So keratin is great on the surface of our skin, but once it gets down in our dermis or our deeper tissues, the body does not tend to like it very much. And the immune system is activated against it and usually forms this really intense foreign body granulomatous response to try to remove the keratin. So each of these little spaces here, these are from where keratin, some of it's kind of washed out or, or fallen out during processing and cutting. But these are each multinucleated um, giant cells and which are basically a form of histiocyte or a macrophage, and they're trying to clean up this keratin debris. And that's uh, just a really extensive, exuberant uh, foreign body reaction to keratin. So usually when you see this, it's because there's been a ruptured cyst um, or hair follicle nearby. This is a pretty exuberant example of a granulomatous, or we can call this a keratin granuloma if you wanna have a name to give it. And here in the middle, all this dead stuff, this isn't necrotic tumor or anything worrisome like that. Instead, see all these little flaky things? Those are all dead keratin uh, flakes, just like you'd see on the surface of the skin. So again, this is the, what you would see in the middle of a, a follicular cyst in the skin, or what people sometimes call epidermal inclusion cyst, or uh, surgeons call incorrectly a uh, sebaceous cyst. So I, I'm not trying to point out the surgeons, but I think they're the only people that I see ever say, oh, it's a sebaceous cyst. It's not actually anything to do with sebaceous glands. So all of this is histiocyte, and look, ah, there we go. When we look around, you can find here's the cyst. And the cyst is lined by a uh, stratified layer of squamous epithelium, just like the skin surface. You know, if you didn't know any better, I could tell you that this was the top of a skin biopsy, but it's actually down deep in the uh, dermis here. So this is a stratified squamous epithelium. It's benign and it's got nice, loose, flaky keratin over the top of it. And so that keratin in the middle of the cyst, you can see it better from low power, all that stuff from the middle, if the cyst ruptures, it spills out into the dermis, the surrounding tissue, and then creates this uh, really robust host response. So keratin granuloma from a ruptured cyst.